Remote and beautiful, the Solomon Islands is part of the Coral Triangle and hosts an incredible biodiversity. However, it surprisingly remains one of the least dived areas of the world. After visiting Chief Raymond's village and after having the children bombard the boat, we set sail to find our next dive destination. Liru Cut, the most well-known dive site in the Solomon Islands. The canyons cut almost 100 meters into Liru Island and with the walls rising high and above the waterline, the light beams shine into the chasm. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet, both above and below the surface, and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. We are moving over to Maine or Monet Island, I don't know which one, um, which is right next to, I think Solomon's most famous dive called Liru Cut. And there's a bunch of caves over there, so just around the corner, um, not far at all. Okay, so we're leaving Karamuron Island. Okay, we're coming around the top here. And then we're gonna come, here's Liru Island. This is uh, one of the most famous scuba dives in all of Solomon's. And then we're coming down here to this island. This is where we're going to be anchoring. Bellini, um, which is like the big liveaboard here, uh, we talked to them and it's their slow season, so they were really nice to say that we could use all of their moorings, which is really nice because they're built for like a boat four times our size. So we can Shout really out trust to, them. what are they called? Bellini? Bellini. Yeah. So if like a cyclone came through, I would just attach onto the one of those <laughs> moorings and hold on tight. That's obviously would be my plan. Hear the commotion, and that's okay, cause we're in motion, I can feel the sway, there's nothing to fear my friend, oh no, it's the natural Colorado, and when the ground is shaking, in the thunder roars, I wouldn't worry, it's just a storm. What's your chore at the moment? Clean the decks, oh. as you can see. We managed to keep them clean and healthy. And yeah, so I think it's really important to avoid the corrosion and you know, to put dirt inside, outside. I think it's a, it's a must in any maintenance on the boat. Through the clatters inside and crackles all the sound. Of the natural rattle vibrating in us all. The natural rattle vibrating in us all. What are you doing, Ocean? I'm sharpening the machete. I think it's been a very long time since it has been. Um, and uh, maybe it's a bit too late, you can see there's like teeth all over the plate. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try my best. What are you doing? I'm popping tanks! Yay! Yeah, but we're going to go in a little bit of circles so we can finish this last tank. So we'll have seven tanks for seven divers. Everybody's a winner. You get a tank. You get a tank. You get a tank. I think we should have six and have some kind of competition. Yeah, if they lose, we'll just bleed their tank out slowly and make them listen to it. Be like, you could have dealt this. <laughs> now that's not fucked up. You got you're sick in the head. Not for you. Okay, so you're gonna take this end. I'm gonna and tidy it, maybe half yeah. mast. Maybe I'm gonna do a bow line, that's enough. Okay. I really ah. like Zoro. <laughs> I Zoro.
I need a a volunteer. What for? for what? Okay. You, you just have to agree before you. Okay. 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 All right. No, no. You gotta tell me the plan first. You're gonna be in the water. Yeah. Like holding, holding on to, to the, the line, line, and then Nate's gonna drive off, and it's uh, it's coming from the top. So then you hold on to it, and and then you go psh, launch into the air, and then you let go whenever you want. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's why I Nate, Nate wanted to do it with the kids, and I was like, I think we should have one of us try yeah. it first, you know. can hear the children like, yeah, they're cheering. Yep. It's an Irish day in Sofia, just getting swung by canoes. It's what we do. We're getting ready for our dive, but in the meantime, we're setting up our gypsy, gypsy shelter. Yeah, we only put this up and we know we're gonna be chilling somewhere for a bit. And I think we're gonna be here at least for the next three nights. Yeah, we're right on a wall, so we're gonna dive this wall. There's supposed to be crocodiles right here, saltwater kind. So that could be fun and interesting. We're also at uh, an island right across the way. It's called the Liru Cut, and it's supposed to be one of the best dives in all of Solomon's. Most picturesque. And it's just a crack right through, and it like the sunlight comes in. It's just supposed to be beautiful. So. Should we do it? Yeah, let's go scuba diving. Let's talk more scuba. Where are you going? It's called Leiru Cut. And we have coordinates of about where we think it is, but we're not exactly sure. It's a big, beautiful crack, but we don't know if it's if it's underwater or how we find it or how obvious it will be. So we are gonna do our best to locate it and dive it and not get eaten by crocodiles. At Leiru Island and we have coordinates. It's like a waypoint that says it's more this way, but this to me looks the most crack-like. So Aitor is gonna hop in, have a quick look. Aitor, I started calling him today my the dive caddy, like, um, when you're golfing and, you, and the guy that carries all the golf clubs and hands you the right golf club when you need it and cleans your ball, that's called a golf caddy. And I tour is like always there when you need him, like ready to hand you something, yeah. always cleaning, always putting everything away, always pumping tanks. He's definitely our go-to dive caddy for yeah, sure. For we, sure. We love you, I dive. You're the best. <sighs> the best.
is Emily, I'm in Expedition Drench Kitchen and today I'm gonna show you how to make my mom's famous banana bread. The first step is to mash some really dark bananas. We're a big crew so I'm putting 10 big bananas today. Magic of the camera. The second step is to put eggs. I'm doubling and a half the recipe of my mom so the basic recipe is two eggs and two for four bananas. The second step is to put half a cup of uh, fat, so we choose coconut oil. And the third step is to add sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then you put a quarter of milk, fresh milk. If you're a yadi, you can put uh, powder milk. You mix all of this together and then you do another pan with dry ingredients which is two cup of flour, quarter of teaspoon of baking powder, three quarter of teaspoon of salt and that's it. And the last step which is the most important one, chocolate chips. So a while ago we made an episode where we talked about what are the challenges of being part of an international crew and I think we found the greatest challenge yet. Playing Monopoly with people from the different countries with different rules. Different rules, that's a challenge. Yeah. I never thought that you were able, without landing on the square, to build the house. three houses suddenly. I think like it was only one per turn for example, and yeah, they say that it's gonna take ages, but Monopoly take ages, you know. So you're in your version, like let's say you own these two here. If you wanted to build a house here, <clears throat> first you have to own it, then you have to land on it, and yeah. then you can build one house, yeah. and then you have to land on it again to build a second house, yeah. and again to build a third house. So let's see what the people say. Yeah. Write in the comments. Write in the comments, to me that's crazy. <laughs> Let's ask America. What, what else was Myth Captain America over here? What do you think about that role? That's nah, insane. I just built an entire subdivision because <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. I yeah. do what I want with my own land. All I know is in sleep. I can taste and feel me. Life alone makes me shake. If I die before I wake Emily just made the most delicious lentils ever and apparently we have some dessert on the go but no one has seen said dessert and why is that Miss Emily? Because I'm living with a bunch of kids last time I made banana cake I did it in the afternoon no I did it for the afternoon so I cooked it in the morning and before lunch it was all gone and nobody ate my delicious lunch I made hours to prepare yeah so tonight I decided to hide my banana cake so you have to find it I could see through all the faces telling me to find my place and I'm so close that I Taste it on my tongue. Tell the king he's overthrown. Follow where the river's flown. Underneath the water. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, I can take this one. I'm gonna have my breakfast. I, I, I can take the bigger one. I don't mind. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. Uh, I'll sit down for a while. It's suffering. Okay. So this a big piece of plastic came out. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. So, wide open, huh? Yeah, it's very open. Uh, no. We cannot see now. Tomorrow we are gonna see. Tomorrow morning. Yeah. But it's like so we have to fix it with you know with the fiberglass. Dude, I literally was I heard it bouncing and I was just about to say we need to put it back on a line and then you guys came in like not five seconds after in my head. I was like ah no no it's gonna be a big job. 
going to be possible. We can do it. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it happen. Yeah. 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 Well, these crazy storms only come at night. So there's only wind for sailing at night and there's these crazy storms, but it never actually brings rain. Just like a tease of rain and huge wind and a lot of lightning. And but anyway, makes things interesting. Monsoon season's upon us. Next time on Expedition Drenched, we say a fond farewell to our friend Patrick. It's my last day with my boy Patrick which is really sad actually. We work out the best possible light to dive Libru Cut again, and we make lava lavas from Margaret, a wonderful local of the Solomon Islands. It's Halloween and Sylvia. <laughs> what? what are you doing? She's my little geisha. Mm. Hello. All I can say is... Okay. I recommend everybody to buy <laughs> this sunscreen. <laughs> huh? What do you think about that? You also want some more white asses here? Yeah, we have white we want more white asses. Because you know, we had made the white asses. Yeah. Sorry? Are you single? No, I'm not single. Hey, I'm sorry too. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not single. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Back at home? He was on the boat but he left uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, what happened earlier with Peanut? They really wanted to trade for our pet. Because they wanted Peanut for a pet, I'm sure. So, no trading for peanut. No, no trading for peanut. You will never get this. You'll never get this. So. Peanut's priceless. Yeah. Priceless. That's our piggy.